I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Grand Theft Auto Online launches, a new smartphone app measures up, and Steve Ballmer exits as Microsoft's main man. Rockstar is rolling in dough after selling a billion dollars worth of Grand Theft Auto V. And now, more cash could be coming its way from GTA Online. Forbes says gamers itching to up their bling level in the game without first knocking over a bunch of armored cars and old ladies will be able to pay actual real money to buy better virtual clothes, cars, guns, jewelry, and other bits to impress your virtual crew of felons, freaks, and miscreants. Rockstar told Forbes that the pay-to-look-cool angle will not affect gameplay dynamics, so you can't buy to win, but you can now look good, or gaudy, as you try to murder and rob your way to the top. Here at Digital Trends, we love to peruse Kickstarter for the latest cool tech projects we wished we had dreamed up, and we are rarely disappointed. The latest trick tech raking in donors is the Spike 3D Laser Rangefinder project by Ike. Ever wanted to take a photo of something, then instantly know its dimensions, volume, and distance? Spike does just that by using a little clip-on device for your smartphone that they size down from a more industrial-sized device that was cool in its own right. Take a shot of anything up to 200 yards away, and you can share the measurement info, geolocate the object on a map, and more, right from your phone. Who's gonna line up first for this thing? Golfers, of course, and Ike knows it, as you can see here. They're looking to raise 100 grand, and with almost a month left to go, they're already more than halfway there. Last Thursday was the last day for Microsoft CEO and primary cheerleader, Steve Ballmer, a man famous for his onstage antics over the years. Thursday was no different as Ballmer, always easy to find on stage, wore a screaming yellow shirt and at times cried like a broken-hearted school kid as he ended his 33-year tenure for the software giant in front of 15,000 workers at Seattle's Key Arena. Ballmer was hired in 1980 as Microsoft's first business manager and it was employee number 30. He oversaw much of the company's success, but was also on the wrong side of things when it came to smartphones, portable music devices, and some glitchy operating systems. Who will step in to fill his dancing shoes? No one knows quite yet. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.